Welcome to Dog Channel. Today we're presenting our first ever My Favorite Things shopping blog. I'm Michelle. And I'm Lisa. And this is Lola. She is my four and a half year old lovely pit bull that if you turn, you'll see that she's a lovely one-eyed pit bull. She had glaucoma when she was two, but she is happy as ever, as you can see with that smile, and loving life up here with all these toys. Who do you have with you, Lisa? I actually have a special guest. This is Lilac. And Lilac is a three-month-old, uh, what we think is a Jack Russell Chihuahua mix. And Lilac is here visiting us from the Irvine Animal Care Center, who we love. Yes. And uh, Lilac is available for adoption. She actually came to visit us today, but we're hoping that someone will see her and fall in love with her and go see the animal, Irvine Animal Care Center and give her a home. If you go to the dogchannel.com My Favorite Things shopping blog page, we'll actually have a link both to Irvine Animal Care Center and to Lo or Lola, to <laughs> Lilac specifically, so that you can find out more about this darling puppy. If someone here doesn't adopt her first, yeah, that's well. quite the interest level. But <laughs> don't uh, fret, there are plenty of dogs to be adopted during the holidays. That's when I got my Lola four and a half years ago. Anyhow, and I called her four and a half, which means she is a little older. I got her six months old. Our first product today is our noise-making soccer holiday balls. It used to make noise before Lola got done with it. Um, it's under $10, great toy. It's got all these little attachments, not attachments, but um, fun antlers hanging off it, which the dogs love. Huh, Lola? Prove you love it. Come on, baby. She sees the other one that already fell off the table onto the yes, floor. Yes, she does. What do you have next, Lisa? I actually am gonna start with Lilac herself. She is wearing a pom-pom, uh, holiday Santa themed hoodie and uh, it's made by Dogo. It's very cute. It comes in sizes from extra small to extra large. The hoodie as well as everything else that's on the table today actually was brought to us courtesy of our friends at Metropolis. Hi everybody, Metropolis Fashion Island. And if you go to the dogchannel.com video shopping page, you will have a link not only to Metropolis but to all of these individual products. And uh, it's very cute. She also has the uh, Velcro enclosure, so it's easy on, easy off, because I'm sure she's totally ready to get it off any minute now uh, and move on to the next thing. And it has the leash hook, so if you uh, put it on to go for a walk, you are good to go, aren't you, sweetheart? I'm going to check with those Metropolis gals to see if it comes in Lola size. Yeah. Well, extra small, extra large. We'll see. 50 glorious pounds, huh, baby? Yeah. Um, and my favorite way, I'm so happy, and this is how we actually found them, was online. Metropolis has a great store where all these products are available online. Yes. Our next product, appropriate for the season, is an interactive toy that looks like a Christmas tree, but really is almost like those little puzzles you have for children. In the back, you have where the different items pull out. A Santa hoodie, a candy cane, she's fond of that, and for some reason, a lovely bowling pin with Leo's name on it. I have a friend named Leo, by the way. I might be taking this one home. And I think last but not least, a snowman. Uh, okay. For your overactive dog or one that has a hard time keeping its attention span, you put these inside and they can take their time pulling the things out. You can put treats in here, different types of things. It's very fun. Yeah, we always like uh, anything that's interactive or encourages our dogs to use their brains, keeps them busy. Smart dogs like these need need stuff to do. Yes. Oh, what do you have over there well, for uh, Aside from spilled treats. Sit. For the dog that is not so much with the Christmas tree, we also have the uh, Hanukkah menorah, which has a spooky in it. Makes Lola very happy. I think she's sit down. She's contemplating, you know, conversion in order to get her hands on this. <laughs> this also makes a great stocking stuffer. It's a uh, Six dollars retail, and you can find it at the Metropolis website. I think they're actually having a sale right now, on top of everything else. And uh, makes a great gift. It's probably more appropriate for a small to medium-sized dog. Yes, Lola would have uh, her business with that within, I think, two minutes. Yeah, but that's okay. But keep that in mind when selecting your toys, because it does really matter on the size of the dog and clearly their jaw. That. Lola's able to go through those uh, soccer balls in quite an expedient fashion, whereas it would take Lilac here probably a month to go through that. Exactly. And our next toy is... I think we have... Remind the, uh, me our next oh, toy. There we go. Oh, it is our uh, snowman on a bungee. Fun. They can get their teeth in there, chew up on that. Again, I think Lola would make quick work with this as she's trying to do right there on the bungee. Yes, she enjoys that. And I don't know about Lola, but my dog at home actually loves tug of war. It's one yes. of his favorite things. And yes. uh, when I shop for toys for him, we definitely look for things that uh, he can pull on and chew on and do that kind of a thing. Let's remove the uh, menorah from Lola's reach. <laughs> 
All right, what do we have next? Well, speaking of tugging toys, actually, I love this, you know, because it's not only adorable, but also we get to talk about um, nice balls and naughty balls. Nice. Yes. Or do I so mean naughty? Have a, we have a uh, <laughs> naughty and nice Christmas ball rope toy. Uh, my dog at home, Rocky, actually loves rope toys. They're his favorite thing ever. He goes insane over them. Really? But you also have the nice weight at the end so that you can throw it and use it for a fetch and retrieve as well. As you can see, Lola actually likes all the toys. Yeah. We are back now that Lola has gone away to pursue other toys. Um, all of them, the Metropolis toy, I believe I am the proud owner of uh, quite a bit of merchandise now. Thank you, Metropolis. I'll be a uh, bye later to drop off my credit card. And now we have Olive, our happy-go-lucky little pug. And what pug is not complete without these great reindeer antlers? Does this look like the happiest little pug ever? I promise you she loves it. Yeah, she loves it. <laughs> but I love it because, you know, Christmas is not complete without the Grinch that stole Christmas. And my favorite part of the Grinch that stole Christmas is Max, the sad reindeer antler-wearing dog that gets <laughs> stuck, you know, pulling the sleigh. So this is Olive's turn to do an impression of Max. Here you go, Olive. Smile, Olive. Smile. I know you're happy. Okay, grunt. Grunt if you're happy. There we go. There we go. That was okay. hard. All right, sit down, uh, Olive. Now, like any girl, Lilac's already changed clothes, and I think this is probably my favorite thing I've ever seen on her. This is also from Metropolis, and you can find it on the dogchannel.com, my favorite thing shopping blog page. It is another hoodie, and this one is a hot chocolate, uh, red and white polka dotted. Um, I guess it's another hoodie. It's a hoodie. And uh, it's totally adorable. It has felt applique on the back of it with a little hot chocolate that has Santa Claus on it as well. With rhinestone eyeballs, by the way. I don't yes, know if you noticed that rhinestone. detail. No, I didn't. So it's totally appropriate for Christmas Eve or the uh, nice. morning Olive. when she's opening all of her gifts. Olive is showing her better side. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, and I think one of, oh, I know what. I have something in my back pocket, and I'm not kidding. You do. I Pull have another out. Jingle Boy jingle bell toy with uh, snowflakes on each side and something that will make Lola probably go a little crazy. Yes. There it is. Speaking and this is bungee dog. too, right? Yes, Again. I believe it is bungee. Yes. You know, with the size that it is and the uh, bungee that's in it, it's probably perfect for a dog like Lilac. So Why after you call Urban Animal squeakies. Share, yes, you should um, stop on over at Metropolis and get her that toy because I think she really likes it. Now, something that's probably a little more appropriate to Olive or to or to Lilac, who loves it, kisses it. Lola would hello. make a good time of that, too. Yes. That thing squeaks as well. Um, I think I just would like to see this under my Christmas tree because it's so cute. This is a oversized uh, talking gingerbread man. Oh. <gasps> Look at that. And, uh, he's, oh, the tag says that he is huge. So it's huge. It's a huge shopping. It's a huge uh, gift for your dog. This is also a good present. It's only $25, and it's available from Metropolis. Uh, again, dogchannel.com video shopping page. You'll find links to all these products as well as some others that we didn't have time to show you today. So thank you for shopping with us. We hope you have a great holiday season. One word before we go, and uh, it's related to Lilac and your high animal care center. If you want to do something really good for dogs the holiday season, frequently your local shelter will have um, things like entertainment books, or collectible Christmas tree ornaments, and you should definitely try, stop by your local uh, shelter and do something to help the dogs out there that won't be coming home with you this Christmas. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, all of waved. <laughs>